Okay, peeps, everybody, and welcome to a quick channel update just to keep you guys informed of what's going on here and such. Um, let's talk about a few of the series that I'm currently working on and what I plan on doing with them and such. Um, Project Ozone 2, super close to the end. I, I'm pretty sure it's one episode. I think I'm going to make it one episode because <laughs> all I have to do is go from uh, planet to planet in Galactic Craft, collect the blueprints and make a... A rocket to go to the next planet and get the next blueprint and I've been a little bit hesitant recording that and doing that because quite frankly it is the most boring thing I've done so far in Galactic uh, in uh, in Project Ozone 2 and I'm really not looking forward to it. it's the same thing over and over <laughs> you go to the same barren empty boring planets and you fight the same kind of boss and you hope that you get a blueprint and then you spend the same kind of materials, sort of, on a rocket to make the next one. Um, I was almost tempted to cheat in the blueprints so that I can save myself having to visit these planets and fly around for like 20 minutes in hopes of finding the dungeons. Um, but I don't know what you guys would think about that, so I'll probably just do it legit. I completed three or four rockets so far out of eight nine i forgot how many there are it's a lot <laughs> but uh, okay I'll, I'll finish it <laughs> soon soon guys and then we're done then we're done with it um and then we also have sky factory 3 first of all before i talk about what's up with sky factory 3 i really want to tell you guys how much i love the support you have given me on this uh, when we started the series, I think I was around 1,300 subscribers. And just a couple of weeks after a few of these episodes, we've, we've hit like 1,900. Um, wait, what did I say? 1,300 and 1,900, not 13,000. I don't know what I said. Um, yeah, we hit 1,900. And that is pretty amazing. So many of you guys are leaving awesome comments, really super nice comments. So many of you guys are liking the videos. And so many of you guys are, are watching. I really appreciate it, even if you don't like, comment or anything. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad you guys are enjoying it as well. Um, that being said, though, and uh, I'm personally not enjoying it as much anymore as I did at the beginning. I think the pack is great. Um, it's, it has some very interesting stuff. It's awesome. That's for 1.10 and stuff. Um, and the beginning was super fun. Like I had a blast with it. I, I really had. Um, but lately it's like I always reach this game or this point in Minecraft where resources, for example, become no problem anymore. Like we are swimming in infinite amounts of resources pretty much, right? Except for certain things, of course. But uh, most of the awesome stuff we have it pretty much way too many of. Um, and there's no real challenge anymore like there is nothing where I look at and I say, think oh this is difficult to get or uh, this might be uh, I don't know take a while to get I, I don't know just some kind of challenge right and I always reach that point in Minecraft and I've because I always play like kitchen sink packs and usually they're not very well balanced which is kind of why I started making my own mod pack because I wanted something more balanced and more focused so you don't just like hit end game in a week and then it gets boring right yeah, so I'm a little bit uh, not enjoying this quite much, and I don't feel like recording it if I don't enjoy it. I feel like that's dishonest to you guys and to myself. Um, I could spend that time making something more fun, which I did actually the last few weeks. I worked on that Serious Remnants uh, mod pack and series, and that I enjoy quite a bit. Um, that being said, though, I do kind of want to continue a little bit. Um, I definitely want to go fight the dragon still. Um, I have, I don't think I've fought an Ender Dragon properly in a very long time, except for main Project Ozone 2, but we were pretty overpowered already as well. And I have never done it in 1.10, um, and there may be some other smaller things I want to check out too. And maybe, who knows, maybe just doing these things, maybe I'll come up with some ideas that, you know, excites me and I want to work on. Um, but yeah, you, you, you know, you notice like, I built like that factory, which was a ton of fun, but it's like, it thinks that... They, they don't uh, they don't they're not super efficient or anything right they're just for fun and i like to do that kind of stuff like the steve's cart 
tree farm and stuff like that. I, I think that sort of stuff is fun. Just putting down one machine that harvests everything for me is not as entertaining anymore. And there's nothing to explore either. I really like exploration in Minecraft and, you know, being at the sky block map, um, not much to explore there. And it's not the pack's fault, of course, it's just my interest of in a in a mod pack don't align with what sky factory offers right now right but who knows like i said maybe if i work a bit on it maybe i'll suddenly uh, have some cool ideas um i still have a couple of things i want to try out that um might not take too long but we, we shall see so yeah that just a heads up so i don't know it, that series is a little bit it, it may end it may not end i'm really not sure but yeah and i feel so bad about ending it too because you guys have been enjoying it so much right like i yeah, I don't know. I have to think about this. Anyway, uh, Serious Remnants, I just mentioned it. It's my 1.11 mod pack. It's not the mod pack I've been working on for a long time. That one's for 1.10 and it's called Serious Adventure Pack, which used to be for 1.7 and there's a trailer and a website and everything out for it, but eventually I switched to 1.10 and it's been a year, so <laughs> I really want to finish it. Uh, but Serious Remnants 1.11 is focused on embers, roots too, and better with mods with some other like survival and hardcore stuff. And I've been having a lot of fun, uh, first of all, working on it, but also like just playing it. I noticed there are a couple of things that are problematic right now. One of my own mods is having a problem that I need to fix, and there are some recipe issues that I need to fix quickly. Um, but besides that, I'm really, really enjoying that one. And you guys have been as well. I think the numbers are pretty crazy as well, so so that's awesome to see. I'm really, uh, I'm really glad you guys are supporting this and liking it. Um, and if you haven't played it, you can go play it yourself. It's on a curse launcher. But like I said, there's some recipe uh, conflicts. So maybe wait for version 1.2, which hopefully comes out soon. Um, so that's going to be my main Minecraft series on this channel, probably for the next few weeks or so. Unless I do Sky Factory 3 more, then, you know, it will alternate between those two, I guess. Uh, but besides Minecraft, I you know, I always, I, I never saw my channel as a Minecraft channel. I, I do play a lot of Minecraft, and that's why I started out, out with but I always wanted to be more of a variety uh, gamer or let's player. I want to have all kinds of different games on my channel that I personally have already played and love or new ones that I haven't played and want to, uh, you know, share my first experience with you guys and stuff. Um, so, unfortunately, I'm terrible at finishing games. And it's not just for let's plays. It's also like if I just play games on my own, I oftentimes do not finish them i don't know what it is it's not like i get bored of a game i think it's more that i get something else is shinier you know like it it's just yeah i don't know i'm i jump from game to game pretty quickly for example i played dishonor 2 on my own and i'm like 80 percent through the game and then i stop playing for absolutely no reason and i haven't been going back since so i really should go do that too and finish it i guess um but at the same time you know if you don't enjoy something don't do it you know just do something that you enjoy but yeah so i want to work on finishing some of the lps and i keep saying that in my channel updates probably that is kind of my goal for this year just to get better at finishing let's plays um and i know they don't get a lot of views i know a lot of people don't like to see them you're mostly here for minecraft stuff which is fine i totally understand um it's it's super difficult to find or to get an audience for variety games right because they're just so different and so many different games and not everyone likes everything obviously um but i do have oxygen not included going right now that one's a little bit uh, i wouldn't say that one has a proper end i'll probably end it when i die or something uh, but that's definitely something i'm going to record soon again um still having a lot of fun with that game i think it's super cool and uh there was breath of the wild zelda coming out recently and it kind of made me want to go back to zelda twilight princess and finish that up twilight princess is one of my favorite zelda games uh after link to the past i think it's my second favorite and we start i started two uh, twilight princess series one a long 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 time ago that i never finished and then one more recent with the HD remake in like a hardcore mode, right? With, with the Gan and Amiibo and stuff. So I want to go back and finish that as well. Um, I actually miss playing that game. So that's something I probably want going to work on next. So that's going to show up as well. Uh, but uh, we also have Simon the Sorcerer. So I'm going to finish that first before I upload anything else. Uh, any other like side game or something, right? So I'll finish that up soon. 
Seven Souls Returns isn't very long. So, and then go back to Zelda. Um, and maybe hopefully some of you guys are enjoying that series. That'd be awesome. Um, at least give it a try. Maybe I don't know. Up to you. <laughs> but speaking of Zelda, while I just said I want to finish up existing LPs, I also am very tempted to start a Zelda Breath of the Wild series, which is the new Zelda game that just came out for the Nintendo Switch and the Wii U. I did get the Nintendo Switch. I lined up for five-ish hours at night for the midnight launch to try to grab one. Um, and I got Zelda Breath of the Wild and oh boy, is this good. It is so good. It, I'm, having, I'm having lots of fun. And in fact, I did record videos of it. I played a couple of hours on my own and then I restarted the game and recorded it as well. Um, and I've added a couple of them. I think there's some pretty funny bits in there, but just because it's like an open world kind of game and sometimes things happen in weird situations. But anyway, I recorded some of these videos not having 100% decided if I want to release them or not, but I have some ready. And that's actually something I want to try just to create like five-ish episodes of a series before I even start putting it out. A, to test if I'm still interested after that many episodes. B, so there won't be a huge gap in, like, when the next episode comes out. So I have, like, a week, uh, you know, before I need to make new videos or something. But, yeah, I'm just kind of curious if there's something you guys want to see. Um, again, it's, like, a, it's not a Minecraft-related thing, so I don't expect much reaction there. But I'm just curious if that's something you guys want to see. I know there's always the concern of, you know, it's a new game. Everyone is doing it right now. It's ridiculously difficult to get noticed among all these giant people who are playing the game as well. Uh, plus, there are some people who may want to not watch them to avoid spoilers early on because they would still want to play it themselves. So it's always a little bit tricky for like new releases. They can be really good for your channel if you just look at that, or they can be really bad or just not do well, right? So, um, but for me, it's just I don't know. I just want to play it, <laughs> so I might. I don't know. I might actually. I know I'm getting a little off topic, and this video is getting super long. But I might want to do less blind playthroughs of games and more focused and inform informative playthroughs of a game. I'm not sure yet. It, it, they both have ups and downs, right? Some people like the first impressions or the first reactions. You get to a game if they're annoyed especially right it's like oh this awesome cool part is coming out that he doesn't know about and then i want to see how he reacts um people enjoy that but at the same time it's also very nice to have an informative player sometimes um one one of the guys i love to watch who also plays a ton of zelda is uh, sugar conroy and he was one of the first people who i watched that did let's play and kind of inspired me to do this sort of stuff because his Let's Plays are extremely informative. Like, he puts so much thought and effort into his Let's Plays. And he puts all kinds of information up and shows extra things. Even if that means he has to replay the entire game to get a certain thing to show, he'll do that. And I think that's really impressive. And, and you know, it, it pays off. Like, his content is really, really well done. So that's something I kind of want to try out as well. But it is a lot of work and a lot of time. So I don't know. Anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, yeah, let me know if you're interested in Zelda Breath of the Wild or not. But yeah, that should be it for today. More videos are coming up soon. Probably record some Project Ozone after this. And some Oxygen are included. And yeah, it should be fun. Alright, thanks a lot for listening, guys. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.